Hello and welcome back to the 40th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to add a menu font item this tutorial seems we've done tutorial 39 in tutorial 39 we just created and added a menu this will advance on that by creating a few font items adding it to the menu and actually seeing something on the screen and having some functions for each of those menu items so yeah, let's just go and open up tutorial 39. If you don't have it, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. And as usual, there'll be a link in the description to the source code for the code produced from this tutorial, as usual. So you can get the link via that. Before we've actually done anything with the menu, I will say just create the menu item. So here do var menu underscore item underscore one equals cc dot menu item font dot create open back close back semicolon okay the first parameter is exactly what we want the menu item to say we want it to say play and then we give it the callback so what function we want it to activate uh, when the user clicks it on for this dot play play doesn't exist at the moment we'll be creating that now we put the target this is usually just this I'm just gonna copy and paste the menu item and this most of the code is very similar that's menu item two three okay high score now settings I scores settings okay that's all that done and now we're going to actually set the position of the menu to press menu underscore item dot one dot set position and here we'll do cc dot p and this is how we're going to work out the position first it takes the x value it's always going to be in the center because we're going to position it horizontal I mean vertically this is always going to be size dot width divided by two the next section is where it gets a little more interesting and I've come up with this simple formula to get it always evenly spaced you do size dot height so this is a screen size divided by how many number of menu items you have which is three plus one so in this instance it'll be four and then you multiply it by the actual let's say menu item index so I'm going to put three uh, and three is the highest so if you want to do for the first menu item or like the second one or so you need one two and three or three two one depending on where you want it positioned or, and depending on what coordinate systems your engine uses so you just copy and paste that you might not completely understand why right now regarding this but once I run it you'll understand what I mean and the end result will look pretty sweet this is oops this can't be selected properly there we go this is nice and dynamic so it's based on the screen size the size of the menu item so you could change that and so forth okay next we're just going to create a few functions here so play colon function then in there we're just going to literally put a cc.log so cc.log that's simply going to put play again and then we're going to do the same again or something very similar that is and we're going to call that high scores and we're going to call um, in, and inside here we're going to say show high scores next we're going to create another function and this one and you probably guessed it, is going to be called settings sorry about that just think I just had an email actually a Facebook message but that's not relevant to this and it's go to 
settings. And that's all these functions outside here done. Let's just sort out the code by formatting it. Okay, there's literally just one more thing to do. We've got we've added the menu from the previous tutorial, we've created the menu items now. To actually get this one in, we just need to simply add the menu items, which are these, to this menu. So we're going to do in the create, sorry, here, we're going to put all the menu items. So we'll just put them in the order that we want them. So we'll put menu item. Um, we're all good to go now, but I'm going to sort out the formatting. Now I'm going to click Run. Hopefully no errors, this is quite a bit of code. But hopefully it should be all good. If this all works out correctly, there should be three menu items positioned vertically, and when I click each one of them, there will be a little log down here. Okay, there we are. we got all the menu items. What I'm going to quickly do is comment out the sprite. as can be a little bit of an annoyance. There we go, all three menu items have appeared. So if I click play, it says play game, so it's called this function. Click high score, it says the show high scores. And if I click settings, I've just accidentally clicked it twice, um, but it says go to settings. There you go. In the play function, you'll probably have some sort of scene transition. High scores, probably scene transition against settings probably seen transitions again you never know in the play you might do a little bit of content loading as well and maybe that's the same with hard because you you load it at runtime when you need to from an external file maybe xml or a text file but you can put whatever you want inside here but let's say you add menu font items but we're going to advance it even further in the next tutorial we're going to look at how to actually add a menu image item so Sort of what you saw at the start when there was an image, but that's going to be part of the menu system. That's for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this one.